right, we're gonna try this with the camera, but everyone keep calm. If it's hard to watch, you're gonna have to turn off. You're just gonna have to not watch. Cause this is what, this is just what has to be done in order to help him long term. And he's a, he gets a little bit dramatic sometimes. Don't you? You're a little drama kitten, aren't you? So, um, okay, here we go. <sighs> yes. This is a nice cozy blanket. So, we start with some manual stretching. Oh, he's so handsome. Oh, I know. Yeah, so, you're feeling very sleepy? Hmm? I think. No. Oh. He's not, he's not, um, he's in the mood to play. Here, have a carrot. How about a nice carrot? So this is just a bag of rice um, to heat him up a little, to warm up his muscles. Here, do you want this? What's this? Mmm. Carrot. Carrots are good. What? What? <laughs> Where do you want to go? Hmm? Down there too. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's trying to escape. Where do you want to go? Hmm? Ribbons. That's a good boy. There you go. Trying to keep track of everything. Seriously. 15. Where are you going? So I have to start. So I try to start with some heat and getting him uh, doing some manual stretching, <laughs> which he's not currently into. Because once I get him in the contraption, I need to be able to quickly position his leg and get it strapped in before he loses patience and starts squirming, which happens within seconds. Where are you going? So you'll see, sometimes if he's feeling, um, if he's not in the mood for lap time, then uh, it's a no-go and I have to try again another time because if he's not willing to sit still at all then it's pretty challenging. His right one is usually easier than his left. Where's your knee buddy? But it's 
good boy. That's a good boy. Oh, he's so slow. Sometimes he will relax when they start. Is that a good boy? Oh, hi. No, very handsome. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, where are we going? Oh, good job. That's a good boy. Yeah. I have to take it quite slow. Why are you, good boy? Are you gonna fall asleep? That would be ideal. That's very comfy. Oh, it's so comfy. There you go. Oh. Nothing to see here. What? No, there's nothing exciting happening over there. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, I know. I know, buddy. I know. And then when he tries to escape, then I don't get to release the stretch. Slowly, and then he gets muscle spasms. I know, buddy. You good boy. You are a good boy, aren't you? Oh, such a good boy. Good boy. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's not too hot. Here's a boy. He uh, tenses his muscles to resist the stretch. So sometimes I just have to wait for him to relax and then I can get him a little more bent. Very good. Oh, you're such a good boy, aren't you a good boy? Yes, you're being so good. Mm -hmm. That's a good boy. I know, okay. Oh, no, don't do that. Oh, gosh. I know, okay. Okay, I know, I know. I have to not release the stretch too fast or he gets muscle spasms, so it's a bit tricky when he walks away. What a good boy. Oh, it's such a good boy. Okay, as long as we have Oh, such a good boy. Such a good boy. Oh, good boy. Good boy. I didn't bring the teens over with him uh, because they get, he gets distracted when they walk by. And then he gets squirmy. Good boy. Okay. A good boy. Don't bite it. Don't bite it. Good boy. Okay. Alright, now the tricky part, one of the tricky parts 
there are many, is the Velcro sticks to all the Velcro. And there's a lot of Velcro required. So, and I have to get, it takes quite some time and effort to get them all strapped in. Let's start with this one. By the way, thank you to um, Jarrett for this wheelchair. Um, this came in the mail as a surprise and just happened to be bigger than the one that he outgrew and very adjustable so that I have been able to attach all sorts of extra things to it to um, anchor the straps using the uh, moldable plastic that a few people have sent. That has been a lifesaver. So, um, thank you. And I'm sorry, I don't know if it's pronounced Jarrett or Garrett. Um, so I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong, but thank you. And uh, live long and prosper to you also. What's up? You're gonna have to put this on. He's almost outgrown this little harness too. All right, ready? I'm gonna slowly try to put them back so I can put this on. All right. Keep that on there. Mm -hmm. Are you the boy sometimes? Sometimes you're the boy. Yes, you are. Good job. See, we're on like the loosest. Yes, time for a new halter. Oh, such a good boy. Yes. Have to get everything possible on before we begin. <coughs> oh, pronounce Jarrett. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Katie. And thank you, Jarrett. It's quite clever. Yep, he's pretty awesome. Okay, so now, this part he, he usually um, protests of this part, but it's not hurting him at all. It's just philosophical protesting. Yeah, see, I know you so well. I'm just putting Velcro around his legs at the various attachment points so that I can get the straps on. Has so much loose skin, it's hard. To, you have to be careful not to pinch it in there, but still get the Velcro on tight. Okay, now this one is somehow.
so far he's been very tolerant. Which is good. as big of a deal to, to be scooting around like he is, but um, as he gets older, um, he'll almost certainly have issues and um, so we'll have to do whatever we can to minimize So we still have a lot of unknowns, but most of it is contingent on whether or not one or both of his knees can be salvaged. And his right knee is much better than his left knee. So. I think everyone hopefully can be confident that the, the decision that will be made that is in his best interest um, long term, so. And it will be very carefully considered. Hey buddy, look, oh I think that's, oh I know, you want me to just stop what I'm doing. He says, stop it and snuggle with me. <laughs> stop it and give me snuggles. You're good. You're good there, too. Mm, we need at least another 15 minutes. You're good boy. Same as we were last week. I don't think much progress has been made, unfortunately.
Okay, is that your belly? Oh, yeah, we can do oh, it. Looks good, we can do that. That's easier. Good boy. What a good boy. He's so handsome. He's so clever. to sleep. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, I don't know. We'll go back to the bed, okay. You're such a good boy. I know. Mm -hmm. You just dream about all the attacking you get to do with that bunny. You get to chase that bunny everywhere. So I'm trying to hold him in a gentle but sustained stretch. And I'm trying to do both legs at the same time, which is not super easy. Because there's quite a bit of resistance. Hey bud, where are we? I'm gonna go over here now. I know. Try to get a good nap in when someone's like doing stuff to you. Mm. We're gonna make some biscuits. That's nice. Oh, biscuits. Biscuits are buttery. Nice. Yeah. Mm. So some days he is more willing to be in the contraption. I got some good, I got about an, I got about two hours in yesterday on the, in the contraption. But, um, my little buddy. Okay. Oh, it's hard to get comfy when someone's stretching you the whole time. So 140, so 112 to 140, mm, 28 minutes, he's starting to get squirmy. Alright, I'll give you a break in two minutes, two minutes you get a break. Okay, I'll heat up your rice pack again. Oh, such a good boy. Oh, such a good boy. Where are we going to go? This way again? Okay. Oh, biscuit. We're going to make some biscuits now. Just one good stretch in on each side. 
this is the bad side. Oh, I need more wood. Here you go, boy. We have to take it slow where it's gonna hurt. Mm. Oh, come on. Come here. Come here. Good. Good boy. Good job. Mm hmm. Such a good boy. I'm gonna have to do your other side one more time before we get completely comfortable. Yes, oh, such a good boy. What a good boy. I know. Alright, let's see if we can. Oh. Okay, there we go. Mm hmm. Here's a boy. Okay, just getting it. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to reheat the rice.
it's nice and we can have food out all the time, huh? Whoa. I played a funny joke on um, Dr. Ferguson. Well, I thought it was hilarious. Because you know how this is a bag of rice? And Frank always used to come with us to the vet to keep casserole warm in the car. But Frank leaks little rice grains. And tapeworms look like little rice grains. So there was one day when I picked up Frank and there were like little rice grains all over the blanket. And I was like, tapeworms. It was, it's funny. Worm humor is always funny, everybody. Always appropriate. Yeah. Okay. Should we do a little of this? Just a little? Mm. I don't want it to be too warm. A little warm, I think. We'll let it cool down. Now, sometimes Do you ever wish you could just smuggle and not have people do stuff to you? <laughs> Maybe someday. If best case scenario is we could do surgery as early as seven or eight months old and get it all out of the way and then And then he could recover and be like a normal cat, sort of. I mean, he doesn't know he's any different. Except he knows he can't follow Bunny when she jumps on the counter to get away from him. See, all this is just empty skin. That's part of how he likes to trick us. There's no bone in there. Put your bone back. This is also tricky because um, his knees don't be don't bend just like straight like a normal joint. They kind of like are crooked and they're not, kind of wobbly side to side. So sometimes it's you have to get it aligned first and then bend it. I'm just gonna I'm just trying to maybe if there's anything I can do to give him a slight I'm 
this part before I started. Oh, what's that? That's mommy tip. So, this is what I'm doing when I'm not on the camera in the other room. This is a lot of what I'm doing. Because it has to happen twice a day. Oh, it is so cute. So, how long do you think you'll keep that on? Just while you're sleeping. Okay, let's see. Where? Where's your beamer? Mm, see, it's a little bit. It's still a little hyperextended. Let's see. So you really need external attachments to get them to maintain any sort of flexed position. That would be good right there. That would be good. Can you just hold it like that? That would be really, that would be perfect.
Well, it did fight it. Well, you know what I need to do? I need to measure you. Oh boy. garment so you get that in the works but I'm going to try nope see that fiber extends again nope 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 this is what you need you need, you need two hands you need a splint that is made from two human hands applying pressure in opposite directions. That's really all that, all that you need. <laughs> He's like, stop messing with me. Here, alright, I'll let you, I will leave you be with your rice pack and I'll figure out how to do some deep measure. Oh, is that so distracting? So distracting. There you go. Okay, go to sleep. I'll be right back. Uh, you know. Oh, Okay. Oops. Where are you going? 